One of the most effective methods for fighting wildfires is a controlled backfire. It burns the ground cover and other flammable materials in the path of the main fire, stopping it from spreading. However, this usually requires walking through a large part of the forest to start the fire by hand or by using a helicopter. Now, that's no longer necessary thanks to self-igniting balls dropped by drones. The balls look like ping-pong balls and contain ethylene glycol, antifreeze, and other chemicals inside. When the ball is dropped from the drone and hits the ground, the substances mix, causing the ball to ignite. The drone can carry about 100 balls in its basket. With it, you can quickly fly over the area in the path of the main fire and set up a backfire line. Here's another smart use of drones. Collecting rare plants from cliffs used to involve sending climbers up and dangerous rope descents. But Hawaiian scientists have invented a quadcopter with a device called Mamba, which is equipped with a robotic arm. It's attached to the drone by cables and has a grip with soft pads that gently hold the plants. The software determines the diameter of the stem and the force needed to cut it. After that, the lower scissors carefully cut the stem. The drone can be controlled remotely from up to one mile away. Using this system, rare plant cuttings have already been collected from steep cliffs. This tool will help scientists study and grow endangered mountain plant species. Other drones are being trained to plant trees, which is incredibly important for humanity. According to the UN, forests are cut down on an area of 44,000 square miles every year, comparable to the size of Portugal. To help restore these losses, an Australian startup developed a drone that shoots seeds. It can plant up to 40,000 trees in one day. Just imagine, that's 25 times faster and 80% cheaper than traditional methods. The drone flies autonomously along a preset route. Its storage is filled with seeds packed in small balls. These balls are a mixture of biomass waste and probiotics. They provide nutrients for the seeds and protect them from birds, rodents, and insects. When dropped from a great height, the ball partially buries itself in the ground on impact. The drone records the location of each drop and can later fly the same route to monitor growth. 50,000 trees have already been planted using this method. The company's goal is to plant 100 million trees. Let's move on to drones for transporting people. One of the new models in this area is the Aero Next Gondola. It has a cylindrical body with large windows, offering a great view. There are plans to produce one-seater, two-seater, and four-seater versions. A small table for snacking will be placed inside each one. Vertical takeoff is powered by eight motors, four in the front and four in the back. After gaining altitude, the motors tilt, allowing the drone to fly faster without tilting the whole vehicle forward. The passenger seats always remain horizontal relative to the ground, ensuring a comfortable position. The flight will be controlled by a computer system that ensures the route is followed. This will be a more convenient form of transport than a helicopter. Successful tests of a miniature version with a human dummy inside have already been completed. Now, the company has started building a full-sized passenger drone. An interesting combination of a drone and an airplane is being offered by the Japanese company Tetra Aviation. The Tetra Mark V model has two sets of wings, one on the lower level and one on the upper level, with a single-seat pilot cabin in between. Under the wings are engines like those on a drone, but here there are 32 of them. This provides strong lift for vertical takeoff. A cruise propeller at the back creates thrust for horizontal flight at a speed of 100 miles per hour. The model is equipped with a battery that allows a range of up to 100 miles. Test flights have already been conducted, successfully demonstrating both takeoff and landing. The drone plane is available for private purchase if you have a pilot's license. In the USA, it is registered as an experimental aircraft. Now, let's talk about large passenger airplanes of the future. Unlike today's kerosene-powered planes, future models are planned to run entirely on solar energy. To achieve this, their fuselage and wings will be covered with solar panels, providing a large surface for energy absorption. This energy will be transferred to vertical engines for faster takeoff and climb, then will be switched to horizontal engines for flight. 
This will significantly reduce harmful emissions into the atmosphere. To reduce the weight of these planes, composite materials will be used, cutting down on energy consumption. Another advantage of future airplanes is their longer flight range. In the stratosphere, there is less air resistance and plenty of sunlight. This will allow such planes to make intercontinental flights without refueling. In the stratosphere, they stay above storms and hurricanes, ensuring a smoother flight. Theoretically, they could remain airborne for several days, weeks, or even months. This would enable planes to be used not only for transporting people, but also for surveillance and communication purposes. Moving from the airplanes of the future to the super yachts of the future, one of the largest sailing yachts was recently launched in the Netherlands. It is 348 feet long, making it one of the biggest in the world. It has a steel hull, an aluminum superstructure, and three carbon fiber masts with rectangular sails. The sails on each mast are placed without gaps between the booms, making them look like one continuous piece from top to bottom. Deploying the sails takes just six minutes. A unique feature is that the masts can rotate 360 degrees, allowing them to catch the wind from any direction. Below the sails, there are six cabins that can accommodate up to 12 passengers. The decks have plenty of space for sun loungers so guests can sunbathe. And there's also a jacuzzi. Two powerful diesel engines provide a cruising speed of up to 17.5 knots, but when needed, they can accelerate the large yacht to 30 knots. The super yacht is equipped with a unique set of green technologies. When sailing under wind power, a regeneration process is activated. Underwater turbines spin very quickly and are connected to a generator that produces electricity. This electricity is used to power the onboard systems, and the excess energy is stored in batteries. The yacht is currently undergoing trials so it can be spotted in various ports around the world. The masts of the next ship also rotate 360 degrees, but they don't have sails. This is rotor technology designed for container ships, which release huge amounts of carbon into the air, polluting the environment. Using rotor sails allows for harnessing additional wind energy, reducing emissions into the atmosphere. Here's how it works. A rotor sail is a column mounted on an axis. Inside the column, there are multiple cavities where air enters. Electric motors start the rotation of the columns. As the ship moves, the rotors spin in the wind up to a speed of 450 RPM. This creates a pressure difference and additional thrust. The energy produced can be used to increase engine power or reduce fuel consumption. When the ship enters a port, dock, or passes under bridges, the rotor sails fold down onto the deck using hydraulic cylinders. This reduces their vertical height, making the ship more compact. A patented rail system allows the sails to be moved along the deck either lengthwise or crosswise. This simplifies loading and unloading with port cranes, providing more maneuvering space. All operations with the masts require minimal crew involvement and are completed within 10 minutes. Rotor sails can be installed on both new ships and existing ones. The equipment has a lifespan of 25 years. Recently, the world's largest ship, which is used for transporting ore, had five 115 feet tall Animoy sails installed on it. The ship weighs 400,000 tons. The manufacturing company trains the crew in the use of sails and provides maintenance services. The sails are suitable for all types of commercial vessels, including bulk carriers, tankers, gas carriers, row-row ships, and ferries of all sizes. By using them, annual fuel savings range from 5% to 30%, reducing harmful emissions by millions of tons. Would you believe me if I told you that motorcycles can ride on water? You'd probably think I'm crazy, but recently, the first motorcycle in the world crossed the Bosphorus Strait, completing an intercontinental journey that took 90 seconds. This invention belongs to Robbie Madison, who modified his own motorcycle. He installed water skis under the front and rear wheels, which looked like wide surfboards. These are equipped with shock absorbers to reduce impact when jumping on waves. The rear tire was fitted with large protruding tread blocks acting as paddles. The rear wheel is partially submerged in the water, and when it spins, it creates thrust to move forward. 
If needed, this motorcycle can ride on sand, drive into the water on its own, or climb back onto shore. If you want a mobile all-terrain vehicle for multiple purposes, take a look at this invention, an inflatable catamaran. The model inflates quickly using a compressor. The wheels have fins, making them effective for paddling through water. To increase speed, there is an additional boat motor at the back. The catamaran can drive onto the shore by itself and move over sand, mud, rocks, snow and ice. It can hold up to six people inside and can be controlled remotely like a drone. It is planned to be used for recreation and rescue operations. And now, let's move into the virtual world. To make the experience in it closer to reality, a special suit has been created. It resembles a movable exoskeleton to which the user is attached. The suit has various electric motors for bending and straightening joints. It can even fully support the user's weight by suspending them. The suit is mounted on a rotating stand. This invention allows the users to feel things in the virtual world such as falling from an explosion, impacts, water resistance when diving, and even the sensation of free falling while flying. The new device comes with open source code so anyone can experiment by adding new features. Since the software is free, you can build such a suit from available materials at home. Have you ever held a touchscreen with a 10.65 inch diameter? only 0.04 inches thick and a week-long battery life. That's exactly what the new device called AI Paper from Vibewoods offers. For its thickness, it has an unusually high resolution of 2560 by 1920 pixels. The text is very sharp with 300 ppi. A stylus makes it easy to create handwritten notes. The brightness is so high that you can read text even in sunlight. This device is perfect for reading ebooks, taking notes, managing a calendar, and signing documents. It connects to the internet to send files via email. In standby mode, the device lasts for a whole month, and with daily use of two hours, it can run for a week on a single charge. The electronic sheet weighs only 13 ounces. The developers are considering making a smaller 8-inch version, which would weigh 8 ounces. The next story is about the micro world. Have you ever seen a satellite model that is 22,000 times smaller than the real thing, with details that can only be seen under a microscope? Creating such tiny figures with high detail and precision is possible thanks to unique 3D printing technology. The process starts with real images taken by a 360-degree camera. A model is then created based on these images. The material used is light-sensitive resin, which acts as a semiconductor. When exposed to a laser, the resin takes the shape programmed by the computer and hardens through polymerization. This technology allows for the creation of miniature models of space satellites with astronauts, cars, athletes, skyscrapers, and even entire cities. The level of detail is so high that you can see an athlete's prosthetic leg, nails, jacket zipper, and shoelaces. Here's another invention made at a 1 to 6 scale, currently being tested in Hawaii. It's a wave energy converter called Triton, which turns the movement of ocean waves into electrical energy. The device has a surface float on top and a dampening plate positioned underwater. It works like a point absorber. The movement of the waves causes the float and the connected deep module to oscillate, which helps generate energy. The goal of the test is to ensure that the invention can withstand harsh ocean conditions. If the trials are successful, a model six times larger and capable of generating one megawatt of energy per year will be built. Once fully implemented, wave and tidal energy systems like this could cover up to 30% of the U.S. energy needs. The Flirt H2 train from the Swiss company Stadler traveled 1,741 miles on hydrogen fuel, earning it a place in the Guinness World Records. The journey took 46 hours. The two end carriages are motorized and contain hydrogen tanks with fuel cells between them. The fuel cells supply energy to the onboard battery, which powers the electric drive. The record-breaking trip was completed without refueling, making this model the most autonomous in the world. 
the engine only emits steam and water, allowing for the transport of heavy cargo over long distances without harming the environment. News of the record quickly spread around the world and orders for the model started coming in. For example, one will operate in the US, in California, connecting the two cities of San Bernardino and Redlands, located 9.6 miles apart. Another model will be used in Italy. In Britain, eco-friendly panels have been created for building houses. They are made of 98% natural renewable materials, straw and wood. This makes them excellent noise insulators, keeping the interior of the house warm during winter and cool in the summer. The panels are also safe and hypoallergenic as they don't release harmful substances. Thanks to special treatment, they can withstand more than two hours of direct fire exposure. The whole system is vapor permeable, free of thermal bridges and air tights, leaving no room for drafts or mold. The lifespan of such panels is around 75 years. They are made to order based on the project and can be quickly assembled thanks to their convenient modular design. To make home renovation more comfortable, these unusual tools were created. With these stilts, you can forget about the need for a ladder or step stool. The aluminum construction and a whole system of shock absorbers and moving parts make them as comfortable as possible to use. The 20 to 30 inch stilts have a unique hexagonal frame. Thanks to strong adjustable fastenings, they securely attach to your legs. Comfortable wrap-around nylon straps fit snugly around your calves and flex easily while you move. The straps are covered with cordura and the padding is lined with perforated nylon for extra moisture wicking. This makes them an excellent support tool on any construction site. This device will also be useful during repairs or cleaning. A special pressure washer attachment with wheels helps clean hard-to-reach places and any surfaces from debris and dirt. It has a working area of 11 inches. Whether you are cleaning a deck, driveway, or pool, this attachment is a must-have for anyone who wants to spend less time on cleaning. The company Oz AutoGate has created mechanical automatic gates that don't require electricity. Thanks to a special lifting mechanism, when a car drives over a pedal, the gates open. After the vehicle passes through, the hydraulics delay the closing for 15 seconds. This device can be used on farms without worrying that livestock might accidentally open the gate, as the pedal is designed like a grid that animals can't step on. The gates can be easily assembled in a few minutes without assistance or special tools. Here's another example of possibly the most unusual homemade gates for a house. They have a unique gear mechanism that helps them open smoothly without much effort. A small panel in the corner automatically moves aside when the gates open, giving more space for a car to enter. The gates also have openings for pets. You've probably seen videos of truck drivers missing height restriction signs and crashing their trailers into bridges and tunnels. To prevent such accidents, a special warning system was created. It can detect the height of an approaching vehicle using a laser sensor and determine if the truck can pass safely. The system uses a flashing warning sign and an audible alarm with a voice message to alert an inattentive driver to stop in time. The system is powered by solar energy, making it self-sufficient. With this equipment, many accidents caused by driver inattention can be prevented. These unusual wheels can transform into tracks in just a few seconds to improve a vehicle's off-road capability. Depending on the terrain and road conditions, you can choose the most suitable configuration. For example, wheels provide faster movement on hard surfaces, while tracks work better on soft ground and rough terrain. The transformation can happen while the vehicle is in motion. Currently, this development is planned for military vehicles. However, in the near future, transforming wheels might be used on civilian rescue vehicles and off-road trucks. The U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, has tested a new robotic vehicle that resembles a tank. It is equipped with an array of sensors and artificial intelligence, allowing it to adapt to any terrain. Special attention is drawn to the drone's unusual green eyes, which are indicators showing the vehicle's status. 
green means it is powered on and in autonomous mode. Thanks to its tracks, the vehicle can move across any terrain, including swamps and steep slopes. This machine can be used for clearing mines, delivering ammunition, and even as a full-fledged tank with a mounted weapon or missile system. The company Dawson Group has introduced a new tracked rotating dump truck. It can rotate its cabin and bed 360 degrees. Thanks to this feature, the operator can perform the work of two machines, a regular dump truck and a front loader. By using the Panther Track Truck, you can bring cargo to the unloading site, rotate the upper part of the body 180 degrees, unload the cargo, and then return for the next load without turning around. The spacious, insulated cabin is quieter than other track transporters, making it more comfortable for the driver to work in. With its metal rubber tracks, the dump truck can handle any weather conditions and environments with minimal effort. It outperforms all other similar dump trucks in every category, whether it's payload, speed, efficiency, durability, or maintenance. Now, let's take a break from heavy machinery and move to the kitchen. With this device, you can increase the shelf life of fruits and vegetables by up to five times. The system works by reducing the amount of oxygen in the device to less than 0.5%, which slows down the ripening process and increases storage time. It is also equipped with an additional ozone generator that helps kill harmful bacteria on fresh produce. The device can be placed on a regular kitchen counter. It's automated and easy to use. All you have to do is open the lid, place the fruits or vegetables inside, and the system will take care of the rest. Laser Pecker has introduced its latest engraving machine, which is easy to use even at home. The compact device uses dual lasers that allow engraving on various materials, including stainless steel, aluminum alloy, gold, silver, plastic, wood, acrylic, glass, leather, ceramic, paper, stone, and more. The new laser cutting technology offers flexible control over the angle and geometry of metal cutting, providing sharp, clean edges without debris or streaks. The device is easy to set up and get ready for use, unlike traditional engraving machines. Users can upload their pre-prepared project files and start the engraving process right away. Tuckbike is the world's first full-sized folding bike with foldable wheels. Each wheel is made of three segments that can be quickly folded and unfolded thanks to special strong locks. Tuckbike claims that the wheels were designed and tested to meet the highest safety standards. The tires are made of foam-filled rubber, providing high comfort, low rolling resistance, and excellent grip. The bike weighs only 30 pounds, and there are several ways to store the bike when folded. For example, the wheels can be folded for a more compact size, although it's not always necessary to do so. This small device makes motorcycle rides safer. Wipey is a small electric windshield wiper that can be attached to any helmet. When it rains, it clears drops from the visor, improving visibility and comfort for the rider. The device weighs just 0.1 pounds and is operated with a button. There are several modes, such as a single wipe, continuous operation, or intermittent wiping every few seconds, depending on the intensity of the rain. On a single charge, the device can work for 3 to 12 hours, depending on the mode, and replacing the battery takes just a few seconds. Which invention impressed you the most? Write about it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. By doing so, you motivate us to create more interesting and educational content. See you in the next videos.